Hi, this is Jody L. Teich of The Hound Healer, and we're nearing the end of October, which is National Pet Wellness Month, and I have one more tip for you. This time, I want to talk with you about something that pet parents also ask me about a lot, which is, what should I do to protect my animal from fleas and ticks? Because we know that certain diseases like heartworm and parvo are transmitted through insects through biting insects. And obviously fleas and ticks are also not an optimal situation for your dog. So we have three options. One, pharmaceuticals. Get a prescription from your doctor. Two, natural options. Three, do nothing. Here's what you need to know about each of them so you can make informed decisions. Pharmaceuticals. They're generally chewable tablets. There are three manufacturers, basically, NextGuard, Brevecto, and Simparica. And all three contain something called isoxazolines or a version of isoxazolines. How does that work? What is it and how does it work? It basically is a nerve-blocking agent. It blocks nerve signals in the insect's bodies and therefore kills them. But also... It poisons the host, your animal. So monthly, you are giving your animal, if you choose pharmaceuticals, um, pesticides that have nerve blocking agents in them. This is also true for flea collars. It's also true for medicated flea shampoos in different doses with some different ingredients added in. Soresto collars, flea collars, perfect example, one of the biggest uh, as of June 2022, 98,000 cases have been reported of side effects from dogs wearing the Soresto collar, and 2,500 deaths have been reported. Let's move on to side effects. What are the most common side effects that have been reported by pet parents when taking a monthly pharmaceutical flea and tick preventative? Vomiting, diarrhea lethargy. What are some other uh, side effects that maybe are not as common, but are not really random either? Things like itching, panting, hives, bloody diarrhea, uh, loss of appetite, anorexia, behavior disorders. There are definitely things you need to think about if you're going to be doing this. Now, Zoetis, one of the major pharmaceutical companies in the pet industry, did a study, but they only did it for three months in terms of side effects. And most people giving their dogs flea and tick meds have their dogs on this year in and year out. So it's not really an accurate information in terms of what the fallout could be. Second is the natural option. There's a lot on the market. So here's what to look for. You want to look for simple ingredients that you can understand. You don't want a lot of chemical ingredients. So fewer ingredients are better and organic is even better. What I like to do is look to food whenever possible to heal and to act as a preventative. So I give my dogs during flea and tick season raw organic garlic in their food once a day mixed in usually to their breakfast. Now, you may read things online that say garlic is toxic to dogs, and the amount of garlic you'd have to feed to your animal to cause a health problem is enormous. To give your dog quarter, a half clove of garlic, you know, chopped fine once a day in their food, no problem. And it's got wonderful health benefits. Not only will it ward off, you know, uh, biting insects, but it's great for their blood. It's great for their heart. It's good for their overall health. Other natural options, something called cedar side. You might have heard of wonder side. Wonder side came after cedar side was the original cedar oil based product. Um, cedar oil is a an essential oil that insects don't like biting insects. So this is a great product. You can spray it on your directly on your animal or on your hands and then rub it into their coat. Um, you can spray it on bedding. Uh, I have never found it to stain anything. It is a little oily. I will tell you that. 
but I've been using it for years and I love it. Um, a dear friend of mine, Vicki Ray Thorne, has a company called Earth Heart. Vicki is a master herbalist and her products are beautiful. And one of them called Buzzguard is an anti flea and tick spray with essential oils. Um, very high quality. I would recommend that. There'll be links below to these products. There are more out there. Just know what to look for. We've talked about a couple of things and you'll find something great and test what works best for your animal. Option number three is do nothing. Now, if you want to consider that option, there are certain things you should look at. Number one is how strong is your pet's immune system? An animal with a strong immune system is not going to attract as many biting insects. So that's something to consider. Also, where do you live? What is your flea and tick season like? How prevalent are fleas and ticks in your area? If you're living in South Florida, you've got a year-round prevalent flea and tick problem. There are pet parents who choose to treat naturally year-round in situations like that. There are pet parents who choose to treat four to six months of the year if they're living in environments with, that are seasonal. So they know certain months of the year it's too cold and they won't have a flea and tick problem. So you really need to look at your situation and your animal, and it's a very personal decision. I hope this has been helpful as we wind down National Pet Wellness Month. This is Jody L. Teich of The Hound Healer to their best health ever.